My name is Omolo Moses Ochen. Mm -hmm. I currently uh, serve as the president of Sabo. Thank you so much for the good question. Student issues are so many, and uh, issues that affect uh, the student fraternity in Baraton are quite a number. All that I can say is that we have done our best to ensure that we have delivered the mandate of our student body. The issues are as diverse as the students themselves are within Baraton. I can say that we have issues to do with uh, academic matters. We had issues to do with social affairs that affect students in Baraton. We had issues to do with uh, matters to do with the living standards and all that. We have tried our best to ensure that we have been as diverse as possible in responding to some of these issues. Uh, I cannot say that we have done everything that needs to be done, but we have done quite a number. Among the things that we have ensured that we did in our tenure uh, is the fact that we have tried to accord our students with able representation. What do I mean by this? I simply mean that we have stood in the gap for our students. Where, wherever they have been having any issues that affect them, we have been in the forefront in ensuring that they are ably represented with, uh, to the administration. And I can say that this has been done to the very best of our ability, to the extent that most of the issues that students have raised have been sorted out to a relatively successful degree. Able representation, it has been a key pillar in our government. Secondly, we have ensured that uh, matters such as uh, uh, social affairs in the school have been taken care of. Our students have been uh, complaining, for example, on matters such as food in the cafeteria. Mm -hmm. We tried our best to ensure that we had a committee in place that worked on changing the menu in the cafeteria on behalf of our students. Mm -hmm. We have petitioned the administration on behalf of students to ensure that they've provided street lighting, not only within campus, but also off campus. Mm -hmm. Issues such as water, these are some of the things that we have ensured that uh, we have taken them successfully through the administrative channels and they have been approved. Now what remains on such a matter as water is implementation, but it has gone successfully. Working hand in hand with my fellow leaders, we have ensured that we uh, have reopened the Nature Preserve, which is a social and recreation site for our fellow students. It's right now in full operation, it's open for our students. It's a place where our students can go and have fun and uh, uh, find a place for recreation. Yes. Uh, this, beside a number of things that we can mention right now, yeah. for example, hand in hand with your ministry, for example, <laughs> we ensured that a new radio transmitter was put in place mm -hmm. that has ensured that Wi Fi mm -hmm. for our colleagues in Baraton yeah. has been enhanced. Mm -hmm. And so our students can right now uh, be able to enjoy higher levels of. of, of uh, of uh, Wi-Fi reception and, and things like that. Uh, in the beginning of the semester, for example, we had uh, issues to do with registration. Uh, the administration was trying to close registration fast enough, but we petitioned on behalf of students. They had to extend also this uh, process so that all students are accommodated. And so far, so good. We can say that every student has managed to register successfully and the late registration fee was pushed forward so that all the students were accommodated and they registered within time. Mm -hmm. This plus a number of things we have been able to accomplish on behalf of our colleagues in Baraton. Yes. Given the fact that uh, this was a political process, mm -hmm. among the challenges that we experienced, one of them included the harmonization of the various viewpoints from the various leaders. Mm -hmm. These were people who vied and campaigned and were elected in office. Mm -hmm. We had never worked together before. Mm -hmm. Now the process of harmonizing these various uh, leaders and bringing them on board so that we can work together as a team, I can say that was a challenge indeed. Mm -hmm. Because it, it is not easy to bring different politicians who have never worked together bringing them on board and ensuring that they work smoothly and successfully within a short time. 
it is not an easy thing to do. It was a challenge, but I am happy to report that we overcame this challenge. And right now, as we are almost finishing our town, all my colleagues, my government has been working harmoniously. We have worked together as a team. And I can say today that indeed it is a challenge that we have lived to overcome. Mm -hmm. Secondly, I can say that among the things that have uh, emerged as a big challenge mm -hmm. is bureaucratic issues within the school administration. Mm -hmm. You find that, for example, certain bills have been passed in parliament, yeah. but for them to be uh, put into practice, for them to be implemented so that they can work, mm -hmm. they have to go through a lot of bureaucrat bureaucratic channels. Mm -hmm. Now, for this, uh, in a period that is so short, it has not been easy. You find that students have issues that need to be resolved. We have to wait for certain channels and protocols to take place before these things are resolved. Mm -hmm. Now, this waiting and this, this bureaucratic uh, 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 red tape has been quite a challenge for us. Mm -hmm. But we thank God we, we, we have done our best. Mm -hmm. And in spite of all these challenges, we believe that we have been on course. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Leadership is a privilege, but privileges come with responsibilities. To my colleagues who are aspiring to come into these offices, it is quite a heavy burden to bear these things on your shoulders. When you carry the affairs of, of every student on campus, it is indeed a heavy challenge. But I want to say, as long as there is a will, there is a way. I want to encourage my colleagues who want to take up this challenge. Yes, bear it. It has its challenges, but it also has its benefits. It will help you as an individual to grow. It will help you to make a stride forward in your own life. When you carry the burdens of other people, you yourself have to grow as well. And so what I can tell my colleagues who are coming into office, leadership is not about confrontation. Leadership is about sitting on a round table and putting matters on the table squarely and fairly and resolving them in a diplomatic manner, in a reasonable manner. And so as, as, as we look forward to a new campaign season, I want to encourage my colleagues who are aspiring to, into the, to, to these positions that may they be humble enough to accept to sit down on the table with whatever powers that be so that they can resolve every issue in an amicable manner, in a way that is reasonable, in a way that is in, in tandem with, 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 with common sense. When you go uh, in a confrontational manner, when you go to fight the administration, nothing much can be achieved. But when we go in a reasonable manner, when we put our issues, our affairs on the table and discuss with them, they also are human beings. They listen, and when these things are relevant, when these things make sense, then they will find time to digest them and to start seeking for solutions. Because the university is not just there for students, it is also there for everybody, including the administrators. Mm -hmm. And they have the goodwill of the of the students at heart, they also would want to ensure that our students live in a secure environment, in an environment where everybody uh, uh, appears to be satisfied. Yeah. Yes. Joseph Kisumu Kimeu, yeah, from the Department of Finance and Accounting, a School of Business. Mm -hmm. I was elected as a Deputy President for the SABU 2017-2018. Uh, mm -hmm. I just go briefly for the major achievement. Those of us of good, uh, I can say sometimes when you are serving in a team as a deputy president again, sometimes you might find that the achievement which you have done, they are cumulative as what other cabinet members have done. However, there are those who, as uh, top officials, we take as we spearheaded them to the success or to give result on on the if I may say on the objective of that team I'll first uh, begin uh, by saying that uh, my first achievement which I was aspiring to make sure that we do in Baraton is to handle the issue of the uh, scholarship so far so good I can remember formally there is an issue of a uh, Ratanzi scholarship which you are working it was challenging for students due to their qualification criteria for that uh, for that scholarship but this year we managed to lower the the scholarship criteria and many students with my belief they are going to benefit according to me i saw that because in this we have many needy students 
by the end of the day, they need to benefit. Mm -hmm. And for that, we have to regulate some of the criteria to ensure that by the end of the day, they benefit and they continue their studies in this university. Mm -hmm. Achievement number two is the student welfare. It has been effectively be worked on. When it was introduced, it was challenging. But if I may say, in my tenure as the chairperson of the welfare committee, we have been able to handle over 30 cases where we have at, we have gone to the homes of the students who are happen to lose their close relatives, and we have been able uh, to control with them and to give them the moral support which they need uh, from the student body. Number three, uh, let me talk of the issue of work program. In my tenure, it was not something which was easy, but I managed uh, with the CS Finance to ensure that all students who wanted to be in work program, they fully got in the work program. And now they are working, assisting themselves to cater some of the basic needs with the 25% and also assisting to pay their school fees, which was challenging before I came in the office of the Vice President. Mm -hmm. Another issue which I may talk about uh, the issue of uh, street lights, it was in my ma manifesto. And uh, it was a challenge when we got to the off campus, more so for off campus. In campus, it was relatively fair, but for off campus, it was quite dark, more so when you go to the areas of uh, when you are moving to the Catholic side in the Barasi. You found that at that time, there was the issue of uh, insecurity issues, whereby some students, I can remember some of them were being uh, threatened threatened by some of the students, and not students actually, but outsiders. And for that, we saw it good to spearhead through the county government and through the administration to have the street lights within the Barasi. What I can say also on that, there are some areas still which are not fully equipped with the uh, street lights, mm -hmm. and which I believe before I move out of office, mm -hmm. I'll ensure those areas, they have what we call uh, in Swahili, Mulikamuizi a major street light which covers a, a big area. I worked with the Mr. President to ensure the issue of Red Cross chapter is open in Baraton. If it was not the efforts that which we took as cabinet being spared by the President and myself, so far we could not have achieved that. We saw that in the university the issue of safety is not that good and we need to train our students or now they can handle issues of first aid. And so far, so good it was achieved. If I can say when we had the first campaign for Red Cross, we managed to record the highest number in Kenya in any university. Around 200 students registered for that uh, chapter. When you compare with other university like uh, University of Nairobi, is the second in terms of the numbers of students who have registered for the chapter. But it has 100 members. But here, we have around 180 students, which we are moving towards achieving 200 students, which we are looking for to be the members of the chapter. So, so far, good. That's good. The training we are still launching in this the end of this semester, not the end of, but towards the end of the semester, around March 2nd and 4th, we are going to have that training for the first batch of Red Cross chapter members for the University of Eastern Africa Marathon. Thank you. If I may say, challenges are always there in life. And uh, challenges, when they come, I've learned that instead of running away from the challenge, you take the challenge. You come from the challenge very strong than before. Because you might find that some of the forces which are bringing these challenges, they are bringing them to strengthen you. So if I may say, when, it, when I was suffering, there are the issue of uh, cooperation from some of the quarters. You know, when you are serving students, you might find students that say, you are not working, this or this has not been done. But I say that the complaint which came from students pushed me to work harder and I, on achieving my objective, which is I had promised to them. Secondly, uh, when it comes to the issue of understanding, we find sometimes there are some delays. but. Uh, the thing, thing about it, it nurtures a leader to be patient when it comes to students, uh, handling the issue of the students and the administration. So that being part of the uh, of, uh, challenge which I faced, I took it as a 
as uh, something to motivate me. Another challenge is when it comes to when you are dealing with the leaders. Sometimes not all of them might support your ideology because some they have different ideologies. But by the end of the day, that should not make you not to do what you are expected to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What I can tell them, leadership is a learning process. And being a leader, it doesn't only mean we are going to be a leader today for this university. But it looks you being a leader, even from the area of specialization where you, you are where you are majoring in, in this university. And it strains you that in the near future you'll be handling people and you'll be leading people. And at the same time, it strains you to serve the interest of others, but not for you first. You have to put aside your leadership, yourself, your personal interest, then serve the student first. So what I can tell them, leaders are born, they are not made. <laughs> and through that leadership, always a leader creates the way, he walks the way, and he makes the way for the rest of the team. May God help them and also let them also be able to take the learning process so that they may become effective leaders and let them take this chance as a training ground for leadership for this great nation, Kenya. My name is George Omond. I'm the Prime Minister of the UAB. During my time, we have managed to procure a PS system, which is just about at the corner. Mm -hmm. We have also managed to solve some disciplinary cases, mm -hmm. and uh, some are still on the process, which we are just about to summarize. Okay. Challenges, you know, as a prime minister, yeah. we have to work as a team. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you are working as a team, yeah. it means you are being equally yoked. Yeah. Have you seen those oxen which are being yoked together? <laughs> so we are just like oxen which are yoked together. Mm -hmm. But uh, if some, some, one of them yeah. is not feeling well, yeah. for example, if one is serving an injured leg, mm -hmm. one is serving plasma moises, one is serving red water, Mm -hmm. So you will not be pulling the ox, the ox plow mm -hmm. perfectly. Yeah. So they will, you will be pulling, and they will be pulling you sideways, mm -hmm. backwards, yeah. and uh, that one you want to deliver as required by the student. Yeah, I would like to advise the comrades mm -hmm. that they move with what is right. And uh, when they are moving, you see the, the Israelites, when they were going to that promised land, mm -hmm. they were going to face giants mm -hmm. and mountains. Yeah. So if they move with what is right, nothing will be, will be difficult for them. Mm -hmm. And also, after climbing one mountain, mm -hmm. they will be ready to climb big mountains outside there. Okay. For example, I'm now a prime minister of mm -hmm. students. Mm -hmm. But uh, after climbing this mountain, yeah. outside there, I'll climb big mountains like uh, MCA, MP, mm -hmm. and even governor. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my name is Vivian Chelagat, and uh, I'm from the Department of Education. Yeah, taking uh, arts in English language and literature. Uh, the students saw it wise to, for me to become the Minister Home Affairs, and yeah, that's the docket. And I think most of the uh, achievements have been acquired as a general, as a house, but then some of the achievements, uh, especially uh, about the sanitation of, of the school, where our students are residing, how the conditions are. And I want to say that it's of great honor to the office of the DVC SAS because that's the office that I work with mostly. And um, it's been quite an honor that some of the issues like rental kills, cleanliness in the compound has improved and even at the moment you see that some flowers are being cut down because of some of the weeds uh, that have invested the flowers and uh, I think 
with 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 cooperation with the minister for public health this is now something that is coming um, to make our university to become beautiful and another achievement is that one of the achievements that i really put forward is whereby students should be able to talk and speak out without them feeling intimidated because when you speak out and raise our ideas and they're hard, then you're able to progress. Yeah, I think those are most of the achievements that I really uh, hold passionate about. There are many challenges, of course, uh, by you find students and they're like, you're not doing anything they don't see because they're not really in that position. But uh, the, the most challenges whereby uh, our administration are taking up the status quo, they don't want new developments they just want to this is how baraton used to be and so they're like this is how we'll continue but i think they should accept change because change is what we really want for the students who are who really want to to take up the leadership the leadership i just want to tell them that it's it's really not a very it's not really a simple job it's a hard task so they should be able to embrace it and and they should know what they want and one final thing for you to be a leader you don't have always to complain about everything look for a solution to the problem that the students have a, a, are are really pressing on mm -hmm. about yeah uh, my name is uh, Omayo Omuga David CS for religious affairs When I was requesting for to be given uh, this chance to be the CS for religious affairs, there are uh, three to four things that I had planned to to do for the school, and uh, actually I've tried uh, as much as I can um, or I could to make sure that I have uh, achieved them. One is that uh, uh, I said I will make the action units uh, very active. And uh, indeed, I've tried to manage them uh, in accordance with uh, the, the, the issues from the church um, that they had programmed for the action units. And I've been going around to those action units to see that they are really working. And uh, indeed, that is the first achievement that I've seen that they are really intact and working so well. Mm -hmm. Yes. The next thing is that, uh, uh, as you have heard even from the house, there were so many complaints about the dress, the way people or students uh, dress themselves to when they are going to the church. And I managed to reach the deacons and deaconesses and advised them accordingly on how to talk to the students because uh, when they are coming in, some of them are very innocent. And, uh, tried as much as we could uh, to advise our fellow students and uh, not to so many cases that we have by now it's like things have really improved uh, however uh, there are others that we didn't uh, manage there are two major challenges that uh, I faced uh, one is that uh, uh, according to my manifesto, I had uh, an issue to do with uh, the computers which are uh, serving the department, the uh, ministerial department, uh, the, 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 the School of uh, Humanities and Social Sciences, the Department of Theology. We have, uh, uh, I can say that they are all uh, computers, all very old ones that are on the stage, I mean, uh, working from that side, where, whereby the secretary is having a lot of challenges in working. And uh, I had uh, uh, asked the house, through the house, asked the administration that they should uh, uh, improve those, uh, that gadget or those gadgets that are there. And up to date, uh, there is no, uh, there's nothing that has been done uh, towards that. The second one is um, the, um, the issue of uh, Bible languages. Uh, I had requested so that we can be uh, as a department to get the Bible languages, that is the Greek Bible and the Hebrew Bible. Uh, 
and uh, up to date, uh, we have not received any and uh, received any uh, um, response. Uh, and to my surprise, when I introduced the bill to do the, the Bibles, so that we students we can be carrying uh, Bibles to the church, uh, I was challenged from the uh, the, the point of uh, uh, how things are changing right now uh, uh, to do with uh, uh, the information. I mean the technology that uh, I, I saw it as a, as a challenge, but. Uh, I have to accept that uh, the, 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 the technology is changing. Uh, however, uh, it gives room for other students uh, uh, to do other things uh, with their gadgets uh, apart from reading, reading the Bible. Being a leader uh, is a call. And indeed, if you have not uh, if, if you are not uh, aware of the docket that you are looking for or you are going for, it's 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 like uh, you 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 better not go for it because actually leadership comes from the heart. If you cannot uh, make yourself a servant or realize that you are a servant, you cannot achieve many things that you are going for. Others may come as a hobby, something like that, but in leadership, really leadership. It needs total uh, involvement and uh, uh, sacrifice, as many of us we have really done, and we have enjoyed this uh, this tenure, and uh, looking forward uh, to see those ones who are anticipating to be leaders, to make sure it comes from their heart, and not going there to revenge, or going there just for money. Money is, a, an, is you can get money from anywhere, but. Taking a servant leadership, it comes from the heart. My name is Samson Muracha, basically majored in education under the Sabi combination of agriculture and biology. I was elected for the position of cabinet secretary, academics, and foreign affairs. What I can say, I've achieved some that I have achieved, and there are yet others to be achieved. For now, I can say I've achieved the, the issue of the lecturers. We know that uh, we had a big problem concerning the lecturers, and some of the lecturers are not qualified, and this has a big uh, problem to the student because they came here to get knowledge. And then knowledge is the key factor for one to develop his mind and character behavior. Uh, I've represented students in the academic study committee, and there are so many issues that we have dealt with, and some have been yet been achieved. For example, the issue of the missing grades. So many students have been complaining that they don't have grades since the year 2009. But I have achieved so by uh, ensuring that those grades that have been missing have been here to be posted to the student and some are yet waiting for their grades. In addition to that, uh, we know that we are running two systems of uh, academic in this university, the trimester system and the, the semester system. Uh, for the nursing, they, they require for the trimester system and this one has been cooperated through working hand in hand with the president and the, the vice president to ensure that the students are catered for what they need to ensure that their academic journey in UAB is starting smoothly. One of the big challenges that I face is the issue of the, the learning resources. We don't have those enough learning resources to cater for every student. You find that we have so less books that are, and we have so many students. And this has become a, a big challenge to me because uh, my ministry only deals with academic issues and we also came here for knowledge issues. Without those resources, it will, it will affect our knowledge and we might end up going with poor quality of education. All I can say is that uh, being a leader is not an easy, easy task because you are dealing with, uh, with so many people and each and every person needs what they want from you. There are some things that the student can tell you and there are some things that you can see as a leader how to approach them and solve them when it comes to the challenges. And, and what I can tell for those who are aspiring to be a leader, because a leader is something that you feel that you are able to do something for the student. I want to tell you that go with that uh, evidence and courage that you are able to present students in each and every situation that they face and be able to handle out the situation in a 
proper channel way. My name is uh, Obed Kiplimo. I was selected uh, as a company secretary for finances. We have made a lot of achievement in the Ministry of Finance. First of all, we work, we enhance with the sports minister, whereby we introduce uh, the allowances for those who participate in sporting activities. And that one we made it when we had an outing to Ekaton University. And uh, each student who participated got around 400 shillings uh, beside the allowances for lunch. Another one is uh, introducing uh, a departmental fund uh, to support the university or department's clubs. And one uh, of it is uh, the fax club, which I finance them. Uh, I give them the transport for the career training in Eldorate. And um, that is about the work study program. Uh, when I joined the office, the work study program was uh, in a bad condition whereby, for instance, let me give an example of the department like cafeteria, whereby they take a lot of students who are under work program. But when I joined, they were taking around 28 students. But I, as, as I talk now, they are enrolling around 45 students who are under work study program. In other departments like library and other departments like PPD, we have students working uh, in those areas with an increased number. Uh, fourthly, it's about uh, our students who are uh, sponsored by the government. We find that we have the needy students sponsored by the government and we had to introduce a policy to support them. We may engage them in a work study program for them to have to raise that, that, uh, the amount that can uh, be able to finance their uh, education. And as I talk at the moment, 10 students who are sponsored by government are now in various departments working and many, many other achievements. Uh, a lot of challenges are there once you are a leader. Uh, for instance, as a finance minister, uh, first challenges when procuring uh, items for the SABU and even for the students. For instance, there is some requisitions that I wrote pertaining some sessionary of the SABU. But it, it takes long because the procedure or the tendering procedure for the university requires a lot of signatories and that one can create an impatience for somebody who does not understand the procedures and the policies. Uh, secondly, is um, we had a lot of challenges when it comes to our students. Uh, during registration, a lot of students were complaining about their finances not to be reflected in their accounts and that one requires um, patience for the university to upload some uh, payments from different banks and credit to uh, students' account, which might take a long time for them to work. Uh, that is about our students who lost their beloved one during, uh, uh, we can take a case of last semester. We had a lot of, a lot of students who lost their beloved one and uh, it was so tiresome to organize some students to attend those parials because of some uh, delay in uh, uh, transport uh, office and the processing of the fund to support the students and many many other challenges okay my name is uh, edward kipkalia chesan uh, i was elected as the minister of communication and technology as the minister of communication and technology uh, this great university of eastern africa baraton i've managed to achieve uh, 95% uh, of what I promised the students and this uh, has been a great progress to me as a student leader because uh, what counts in the end is accountability if you are able to do what you are required to do by electorates who elected you to serve. First, I've achieved uh, one of creating Sabu website and this website uh, is live. You can view it by visiting uh, sabu.ekalia.net and from there you can be able to know what student leaders are doing and what they have been doing for the past uh, one academic year. Also the vision of this website is to enable students to reduce the gap between the students and the student leadership. Because in the past students have not been knowing what student leaders have been doing or discussing in the parliament. 
but now with the website you can be able to follow through what the student leaders are doing and uh, hold them accountable secondly i've been able to rebrand uh, the sabu super show uh, which was a radio show for the sabu team and this show is is always there for students to air their views to discuss uh, issues affecting them and also to give them a chance to air their views via the radio this show was started by my predecessor uh, who was then a minister of communication and it was called the people voice show but now we've, we've been able to rebrand it with my team and now it's called the sub super show uh, thirdly uh, you find i've been able to to bring together the new yearbook team which is the crested crane and uh, this uh, yearbook team comprises of members who are dedicated to, to bring in a new outlook in the yearbook we've had a lot of complaints from students complaining that their pictures are missing but uh, with now speaking to them uh, they have a vision of bringing in the best yearbook this university has ever had uh, fourthly as the minister i've been able to, to communicate uh, to students uh, on, on time uh, the events that are going on on campus and also to keep them informed using the very various media channels and social media channels uh, by moderating the sabu facebook group and also using my whatsapp groups that students are in to enable them have effective communication of what is happening with the student government and what events are coming in uh, fifthly uh, i've been able to work together with the its team and improve the re registration process in this university because uh, we've been able to have a new server upgrade and uh, it is used for e-learning platform and this was a major uh, was a major issue in the first semester 2017-2018 whereby students were not able to register on time for the e-learning because when the server was there it used to accommodate a small number of students but now it can be able to accommodate a huge number of students and that is an achievement also i've been uh, as, a, as a student leader i was also able to attend the student diplomatic and leadership forum that was in kenya school of government at nairobi and i was able to learn about how a student leader can be able to conduct himself both professionally and also socially and this is a great achievement lastly in my achievement i've been able to be nominated uh, to the University Student Leaders Awards and this is, now, is an award that uh, recommends uh, those student leaders who are performing better and also they have a view of becoming progressive leaders in the future. Uh, to me this has been the hallmark of my leadership uh, tenure as the Minister of Communication. Yeah. As I said earlier uh, by my achievement of 95% of what I promised uh, students. Uh, the other 5% uh, is uh, because it is one challenge that I've been able to face. And this is due to the financial crisis at our university. And the view of our, lead, uh, of our administration not focusing on uh, improving near their technology to be updated and also not investing in educational technology. And this uh, was one of my key uh, key aspects in one of my pillars of uh, my manifesto whereby I said I wanted administration to uh, invest in educational technology because if we don't keep up with technology then you're going to be left out and you're going to be outdated. So far that has been my major challenge because uh, without uh, necessary funds and financial needs you cannot be able to uh, improve on your educational technology. For those students aspiring to be student leaders at uh, this university, uh, first we should know that leaders are readers, leaders are learners. And if you are a, a leader, you should be able to make an effort every day to learn something new because leadership is dynamic. Different situation can force you into different situation leadership uh, where you have to ex exhibit your leadership skills. And as I always say, uh, as uh, there is power in teamwork, there is also power in progress. This is what I call progress power. Always out outstand yourself to be always a great progressive leader. My name is Hilary Kirua Kimosbe. Uh, 
for their student in the Department of Accounting and Finance. Yeah, I was elected to the position of Cabinet uh, Secretary in the Sports and Entertainment. In my time, uh, I would like to say many things have achieved and uh, maybe to mention a few that uh, I can remember is that uh, during the start, immediately when I was uh, elected, I managed to talk to the administration because uh, and we renovated the soccer pitch. We know that in the university we have only one uh, soccer pitch and it is used in many events. So by the time I was in the, uh, elected uh, to the office, the soccer pitch was not uh, looking nice and it was, not, it was in a bad condition. But with the arrangement that I made with the administration, we managed to renovate. It stayed four months. And uh, when students came in September, uh, it was good. And now I can say students are enjoying playing in that soccer pitch. Number two, uh, there were issue of poles. When I enter into the office, there were issue of uh, soccer poles and other many things, sports equipment. Uh, uh, during my time, immediately when I was ex uh, elected, I have managed to solve all those problems of uh, sports equipment when it comes to various sports uh, uh, events here in the university. So I've, I've solved, I can say confidently that it was solved and I, I believe that it, it, it is solved up to now. Mm -hmm. Now number three, uh, we realized that uh, there are some team, there are some games that has to be played at night, especially, especially basketball, men and women. Now we, we, I talked to admin and uh, I can say that last semester oh, the issue of lights was installed and now students are playing at night. We've also managed to install the, create a new uh, basketball court for another extra basketball court in the auditorium, inside the auditorium. The reason is because uh, when I, uh, I was elected to the office, uh, ladies were saying that uh, we have only one court and men are using the, the, the soccer, the soccer, the, the, basket, the basketball court. So I talked to my uh, officers, that is the admin, and uh, we met arrangement. It is solved now. We have an, an, another new basketball court, and I can say students are now ready to play. Mm -hmm. Basketball students, they are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are now enjoying their, their talents here in Baraton. It's solved, and um, I, I know uh, in future, they will, we will create even more, let's say even two or uh, three or four, so that, uh, you know, the university's population is increasing. So we need to have a plan for future. Now, but for now, it's, it's okay. I've also, uh, in my time, we've managed to go for an outing, you know, since, uh, like, a low, uh, the other time, in history, you know, going to uh, outing was, well, it became a problem. But during my time, uh, and also talking to my bosses in the administration, we've, we've managed to take our, our students outside. I remember last semester, we took 150 students to Egerton University in all sporting events here in the university, almost 10 sporting events, indoors and those can be played outside. And uh, in addition, it has been for the first time in history, these students have received the, the allowances. Okay. Allowances is what students need here in Baraton University. Because, and I believe it happens in other universities, okay. because you know, a student here to represent a university is an achievement. When we go there at Ikaton, for example, in Ikaton University, we went there, our students won okay. in, in almost all the sporting events, especially soccer men. We, 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 we won, like now, I got on university, no, the Baraton University <laughs> soccer are very <laughs> serious and they, there is no team that can play with. So we paid them allowances and I thank the administration for uh, giving me and uh, allowing us to have these things. And I will also write, or work, want to request the administration that next time students are going outside, please consider this because students really represent the university, they love the university and also as administration, Let's love the students. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, we've managed to to have soccer tournaments. Mm -hmm. I remember d during the opening of this semester, we had one soccer tournament that attracted many students from outside, not students and other teams from outside. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, here we you many students saw what happened. 
our our students are really uh, soccer students are really good and in fact those who came from outside they know that soccer here is something that is very very doing very nice mm -hmm. so we, we we we've been having the tournament here we 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 have we had that one for soccer we have we, we we've had one for basketball we've had one for volleyball we've had one for handball men and we still expecting to have more with this the the, the period that is still remaining we still have more tournaments coming yeah and also in the sector of uh, entertainment you know those who are only sports yeah. in entertainment last semester we had many entertainment events that we 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 we, we, we took it here and i can i want to say that for students to hear this we have a very big event that is coming that is fashion show where we will have now to elect mr and mrs barato it is a big event that we've really budgeted a lot of money in that in that event and we, we I want to encourage all the students to come and register so that at the same day let them come and participate in that event. It's coming on the date is not sure but early March. Mm -hmm. We will have that event at early March. We will also have another outing that we are planning to, to call sporting outing event that we are planning to go to another university. Well, I don't want to say where we are going now because arrangements are still ongoing. It's work in progress. And now I want to let the students to know that we still have another outing to, to that will happen. May say hardly much again. So students, let, let I want to encourage students to go to the field, let them train so that when we go outside, they will also represent the university in a good way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to thank all the, the students that have been coming to the field. They are really uh, coming for, to training well. And uh, I can say, let's keep, uh, let's continue with the same spirit, and also encourage others to come. Mm -hmm. uh, lastly, uh, I want to say that um, we we we've done many things in the sports, mm -hmm. and you know the sports and entertainment in this university is everything. Students in the university are coming to also they are coming for academics as well as all the other co-curriculum activities like sports and entertainment. We here we nurture talent here in Baraton. We nurture talent. I would want to tell any student there outside there that if you want to nurture your talent, welcome to Barato. Mm -hmm. This is where talents are being nurtured. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Now, in my time, uh, challenge, the challenges that I face is that uh, the procurement, the procurement of sporting events, the uh, uh, facilities in here is now something like i can say something slow yeah so i would like just want to request that uh let the procurement response uh, uh, respond in in accordance to the urgency of the things that are needed in the sports so the, that is the only challenge and a major challenge in one that i've experienced in my time as a sports minister in baraton number two you know i'm a student and I, as I earlier said that I'm a senior student, I, I, I do many things, research mm -hmm. and many other issues. Mm -hmm. And you know, to balance between leadership and academics is a challenge. Let mm -hmm. the students, don't forget this. Mm -hmm. Once you are being elected to be a leader, don't forget that you are, you are, uh, you are you're still a student. Mm -hmm. So I've tried, in my time I've tried to balance and I can say I'm still doing well in academics. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't expect to, this leadership to, 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 to maybe affect me in academics. Though it's a challenge, but I, I still thank God that he has given me this strength to balance it. Thank you. Let me, let me advise now the students that they need to come to, okay, they wish to be student leaders. Now, a student leadership is given by God. I want to let you know that student leadership, let, let, let me see, not even student leadership, leadership is given by God. And now, when God gives you, uh, say, a talent to be a leader, for example, remember, as a student leader or a leader, you must have integrity, a lot of integrity. This is what the other leaders outside there are failing to have. We have few leaders of integrity in this country. And we want to express this strongly that any leader, anybody that have ambitions to be a leader should be should have a lot of integrity and should also always represent whatever he or she represent with a lot of truth. 
we don't want we don't want leaders that are just uh, telling they are going outside telling other lies in favor of politics no let's be leaders and leaders of integrity leaders of the truth god knows why he gave you or she uh, god he gave you to be a leader so i would want just want to advise anyone that wish to be a leader be a leader of integrity be a leader of truth and remember uh once a leader always a leader mm -hmm. you will lead here on earth and maybe if there is a leadership in heaven you will also lead there so <laughs> just have all that is good always so all students that aspire to be leaders remember integrity truth and always have all that is always truth and good before god and before human beings thank you My full name is Edwin Wafula Sirengo. I was elected as the speaker for the uh, parliament 2017-2018. While well, finding the successes, the first thing uh, what I've done, I really wanted to ensure that the house is one. You see, coming in as a speaker, and uh, the members of parliament have come in uh, just from the political uh, uh, mood. They have come with different ideologies, with their own <coughs> different agendas. And each one wants to really want to ensure that he wants to deliver. And so with that, they have very divided opinions. And so to bring these people together and to ensure that they're all working for a common goal, it was quite a hard task because they have to bring all these people with their different personalities, with their different uh, ideologies to make sure that they're all geared towards one goal. That's uh, performance and, and delivery to the students. So it was quite a, a big task, but I want to uh, really say that finally the house has come to the end with all the leaders being one and speaking the same language. That is to ensure that the mandate to the students has been filled. That is one of the major achievements that uh, I have seen it uh, done, done. Another thing, um, when I came in uh, office, I really wanted to ensure that uh, these leaders, because most of them, they were coming into leadership for the very first time. So in terms of leadership or, uh, uh, capabilities, they were not very conversant with them and so i had to plan and uh, i had promised a number of trainings of which we had the, the first uh, orientation uh, seminar which uh, we had uh, the theme as a uh, basic professionalism and the diplomatic leadership which was a success the uh, by peter quest and i also promised another training that is coming in the next seven days uh, the second uh, training now that the, they have exited the office to know how to go ab about from leadership because once you are chosen a leader you are always a leader challenges are there quite a number of them you see according to our standing orders there, there, there there's a way parliament has to run it's a house of rules and, and orders and uh, the mo biggest challenge is many members of parliament and even cabinet sometimes it's like they they are not conversant with these standing orders and the constitution so it, it was a, a task to try to ensure that they understand their mandate as as far as the house is concerned how they need to go about everything how to conduct the business in the house because my major uh, duty was to ensure that uh, the, the the house proceedings are, are going on according to how they're supposed to be and so it was a challenge because to getting some leaders who yes they're leaders but uh, they can't understand how the rules are supposed to go so you have to go on sometimes and uh, try to give a brief lecture on how the things are supposed to be done in the house <coughs> but quite a big challenge another one is that uh, when motions and bills are coming uh, there are some members of parliament and even cabinet who could bring the bills or motions just a day before the house is to, to be convened and uh, that means that uh, as a speaker you have to have a very hard time because uh, these bills and motions you have to go through even with the house business committee to ensure that this bill or the motion is fit to, to come to the floor of the house. 
And so when it comes very late, it becomes very hard for it to be, uh, uh, to be brought to the, to the order paper. And so that means sometimes I had to sp uh, spend quite a lengthy uh, times at night to prepare to ensure that that bill or motion is fit to come to the order paper. And so sometimes even, they are, they, because they come with a lot of mistakes, and so you have to ensure that the bill goes through the whole bill and correct every, any grammatical uh, mistakes and ensure that that bill fits the, the house for discussion. So it, it becomes a problem. Another challenge is for members to come to the house sometimes very late. Because when uh, we only have three hours for the uh, business uh, proceedings in the house. So when members come very late and we need to have a quorum to begin, that means that we have to delay some, some times to begin. And so that makes it very hard for us to finish in time. And uh, uh, the, 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 the venue for the, for, the, uh, for, for the parliament proceedings is supposed to be, uh, by one o'clock, we are supposed to be done. And so if we are not done with the order paper, it becomes very, very hard. So time management was a problem, but we tried to work it out to ensure that members are keeping time. So through the House Disciplinary Committee, things worked out that way. I want to say this, that uh, anybody who wants to become a leader, and especially here in Baraton, uh, is that uh, we need to learn to ensure that we are becoming uh, proactive leaders. Let us not be reactive leaders. That any time you want to come to the student government, you think of being maybe uh, on the side of students, and to want to be so much an enemy to the administration for you to make it. And I believe that uh, as a student leadership, that particular ideology is now uh, going, uh, it's going offside. And so today, for you to make it really to be a student leader, you need to ensure that you are co-working with the administration. Because if you want to uh, come against the administration so that you can please the students, you're not going to, uh, to make it in leadership especially here in Baraton. So the best thing we can do, and not only even in Baraton, but elsewhere, is that let us first follow the protocol when we are dealing with issues. Let, let everything be done uh, according to uh, the plan and ensure that as a leader, you are also working with the, uh, the administrative who are leaders on a higher rank to ensure that the students are meeting what they are supposed uh, to meet. Now, as a speaker, if you want to become a speaker of the house, uh, it's, it's important to, first of all, understand that the people you are leading, especially the house, there are people with different personalities, different uh, ideologies. And so if you want to really ensure that the house is running well and that you're not favoring anybody or you are not uh, being biased to another person, you are supposed to be very sober. So you need to exercise a lot of sobriety and ensure that uh, as you, the, you, you deliberate the business of the house, that you are taking care of all the concerns of everybody in the house, members who are, who, who are giving the discussions, that everybody is given equal chance to discuss and according to uh, the standing orders and follow the constitution. Otherwise, if you do things in a different way, it's going to be very hard to manage because you are going to have it rough from other members. Sections are going to gang against you. It's like you are, going, you are being biased. So never be biased. Just be sober and do it without fear, without favor. That is what I can say for anybody who wants to become a speaker and a leader in this particular university. And even after this, because I believe if you are a leader, uh, once you are a leader, you are also a leader. Don't think that maybe after a leadership, you can now go back and do other things that, are not, that not, does not befit a leader. Let you be a, fi, a leader all around and it's going to work well with you. God bless you. My name is Dibur Udino. I'm the class current teacher of the Okay, I can say since I, I started working as a clerk in some department, mm -hmm. I've, I've achieved a lot of things. Mm -hmm. First thing, the main one is writing skills. I thought I knew how to write, at the same time to listen, mm -hmm. but I realized I didn't. Mm -hmm. But this time round, because I was listening at the same time writing, I achieved a skill. Mm -hmm. At the same time, I learned that I should be able to know different people, the way they talk and the way they respond and what I should do and what I should write when I'm, I'm listening to them. <laughs> yeah.
here I, I, I faced a lot of challenges. First, a uh, time. People are not keeping time. Honorable remember members sometimes will come late and we could start our parliament very late and end it at uh, late hours. Another challenge is the challenge of printing papers and ink. Sometimes we didn't have enough ink to print uh, the announcements, the notices, the other papers. It was a challenge. So we are, we are, sometimes we are, uh, we are going asking for help in different places for help. So this made us not to accomplish our work or to make our announcements at the right time. Or sometimes we could not make it. We could make it maybe verbally or through getting through WhatsApp. Okay. Okay, to my fellow students, I want to say this. You start with making a step. If you make one step, you're going to achieve something. Make an application. As for me, I did an application and here I am as a clerk. Yes, you can be able to think of maybe I can apply and I'll not be chosen. You just make a step and maybe you'll be the lucky one. To my fellow ladies, some of the ladies don't think that they can, they can do something in parliament. But we need you ladies so that you can help us and let's stand out to do what we call women empowerment so that we can be able to help our fellow ladies out there so that they can be able to be leaders. We are the leaders of tomorrow and without us there's nothing can happen. Uh, I'm called Martin Malenki Jaljo and uh, the position where which I was appointed I was re-elected actually, I was appointed by the Council of Dean yeah. as a Surgeon at Arm for Sabo, 2017-2018. Okay. Yeah, I, I did not achieve a lot of things, but I have a specific role that I'm doing, but I have achieved them successfully. Mm -hmm. One is the power of the house, and uh, the power of the house is the mesh. Mm -hmm. I took care of the mesh. Uh, since I was sent it in uh, for the mice, I took care of it until today when the house is developed, it is in good time. The second thing, uh, during the election of the, of the speaker, I participated and uh, uh, made my speaker very, very, very smart after he was been elected and is going for the inauguration. So I took care of him and the second thing I used to let him in during the session and also out during the session together with the Attorney General and the, and the, and the President of SAM. I have also circulated uh, uh, the attendance seat uh, effectively and each and everyone, either you are an MP or the Cabinet Secretaries or the visitors, the, 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 their names, the attendance were circulated effectively to everybody who is in the house. Yeah, there are some challenges. One of them is the timekeeping. Uh, most of the uh, cabinet secretaries and uh, the MPs and the visitors, they don't keep time. Uh, make it hard for me to go around the house. And this one can actually cause some commotion, maybe if there is presentation. And I can move around the house, maybe people can, can look around. So that, that, is a, that is a challenge that, that I have faced. The second challenge is the some of the students, they can say their names can be written, meanwhile they are not present in the house. So they can also cause some problems between me and them. If I say this is not the system, we can follow the rule of, of Sabu. If we say that you are coming at 10.15, you, you must come at 10.15. So some of them, they, they, they cannot understand. That is the, those are the challenges that I have faced. Yeah, what, what I can actually tell uh, is a sacrifice. If you need to do something, you sacrifice yourself and uh, do the things perfectly. That is, that, is, that is one thing. The second thing is a cooperation among yourself. Either you are cabinet secretary, you are MP, or any visitor that come into the house, you need to cooperate with people. If you are told that do this, you have to do it. Uh, the second thing is the timekeeping, time management. So if you are holding any position, you need to be time conscious, you need to manage time, 
if uh, people say that you are going to this place and the time is this, you, you need to keep time. These are the things that can make somebody successful.